Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics 3-in-1 Tree Guard Plant where we grow cool plants and today we're going to be talking about the next time you go to a Chinese restaurant and you have your chopsticks. I'm going to teach you what you can actually use your chopsticks for in your garden and behind me I've actually got an apple tree and this applies to any other trees whether it's a fruit bearing tree or not where you can actually train it to grow in the pattern and in the method that you want it to. And we're going to be talking about a few um, concepts here to help you actually grow better trees in your garden. And I'm actually going to say better fruit trees again, even though it applies to any other type of trees or plants within your garden. Um, the first thing that you're going to need to get started is we've got some twine. I got some string here if you actually want to um, take a look down here. So I've got some string. I've got my pruners. I've got my string cutters. I've got some zip ties. And then I've just started um, to actually tie these chopsticks together. And um, what we're going to be working on is this three-in-one apple tree that I've got behind me. I've used it in a few other um, Ivory Organics three-in-one tree guard paint videos um, where we discuss various concepts. And this is actually one rootstock over here. It's a semi-dwarf rootstock um, that'll be grown with three varieties of apple. This here is a reddish green apple. This here is my Granny Smith green apple. And then behind me is my red apple variety um, that grow well here in the Southern California. Um, area and what I've done and you'll see that each of these branches have been staked on each corner and had they not been staked and pulled apart these three branches would be growing together just like these three branches are over here and you can see that they're very close to one another and the concern with growing your branches as close to each other is all of these leaves are going to be competing for sunlight and competing um, to produce the sugars necessary to support, to support the maximum amount of fruit so the goal in this video and what I'm trying to share with you is the importance of actually pulling the branches apart. You may have heard the idea that you want your tree to be open and pruned open so that a bird can fly right through it. And if you see what we're doing here is these three branches are pulled apart, easy enough for a bird to fly through it. And then we've pruned in one of our videos this branch over here and we've coated it with Ivory Organics on the very top of the prune. If you want to zoom in and take a look here. You can take a look, the top's been pruned. Being that it's a larger wound, it'll take maybe a year, possibly two years, and I wanna make sure no wood boring insects, viruses, bacteria get into it. The other thing I've also done is I've coated all of the branches along the, along the edge um, with the ivory organics. You'll notice that the um, rootstock is a little bit lighter. My graft union is right here where my fist is, the second graft union right here, and the third graft union right there. So you can see that it's um, indicated by a little bit of a bulge that's within um, between the two trees. This here being the rootstock and this here being the grafted apple variety. And you notice that it's painted all the way up to this point and then this part is not painted and exposed to actually more sunlight. Um, so this might be something that gets coated as it doesn't have a canopy to necessarily protect it from the elements. And the product that we actually put on here is um, Ivy Organic. It's a three-in-one tree guard paint, just add water, a natural tree trunk and branch barrier protection against damaging sunburn and insects and rodents for uses on your roses, fruit and nut trees, ornamental trees and shrubs. It's a non-toxic, environmentally safe, organic paint. Um, and it comes in a paint powder and then it's got the oils within it, the oils within it that then protect it from the insects, the wood boring insects and, and as well as rodents to make it distasteful um, for them to actually affect your plant. So then we've got this product as well. What I'm gonna do here next, and you'll see that I've already started. What I've done is I've taken these three branches now. So we've started, you know, with the three branches below, one, two, and three, and pull them apart in three different directions. And now with this branch, and now with these branches, I've done the same, the same concept as we've done with the bottom of the plant. We're actually pulling them to grow in three different directions. Um, you know, with them growing, you know, three different directions. We've used the chopsticks to actually pull the plant apart into its varying um, locations. If you come up a little bit higher, here's the second one that I've done for the second apple variety, this here being the Granny Smith Green Apple. And what we've done here is we've pulled the branches apart and then I grabbed a part of the chopsticks and then pulled it um, to get this branch from growing towards the wall. This here is the shaded side of the garden and the goal is to actually get the branch to grow equally in this direction with the third growing in this direction and the goal is to get it up towards the light and not to grow towards the wall. So we've just simply pulled it. These are the three best branches that we've selected. The three best um, branches selected from the red and green apple. And now I'm going to show you how we're going to actually train these three branches 
which are off our red variety to actually do the same thing and we're gonna pull them apart into three different directions. Again, to create that open canopy that will ultimately result in the most number of flowers which will ultimately support the most number of fruit because all of the leaves are gonna be working to support the fruit and not have three branches that are competing for sunlight and, and not affecting the health and the vigor of the tree. Let's take a look at the next steps. So here we are now. I've already started the process and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna um, continue it. Um, what I need to do to begin is get a piece of twine and I'm basically gonna take one end of the chopsticks and tie it up. And we're gonna tie a knot across it like so. And then I'm gonna wrap it a little tighter and tie another knot. And the last step I'm gonna do is take a zip tie. And I'm just gonna run it now in between the chopsticks to tighten the knot between the sticks. So we're just gonna take that and run the zip tie and pull. Like so. So we've got now that second zip tie in place. We'll cut it down. And then now we're gonna put the third one together. And you'll notice that I've left about an inch because I'm hoping to actually get one of the branches in between and it'll actually be secured in place. And it'll take about a month or two for it to actually then ultimately stay there indefinitely. And then we can remove the, the brace that we've created. This is kind of like a cast or a brace or uh, whatever you want to refer it to as the goal is to actually mold it to stay in that position. And it generally takes about a month or two during, during the growing season. Here we are now at the end of August doing this. We've got at least two more months of growing season within, um, within our climate here in Southern California. So um, this method will work and we can remove the supporting structures um, before it goes into dormancy and drops its leaves. And now we're just gonna get another tie. We're gonna repeat the process one more time. And then we're gonna put a knot in place. And then continue to wrap it. The twine. And then put another knot in place. And then I actually leave these ends still on here because these will be used to then wrap up the apple branches um, in the desired location. These are still adjustable. What makes it actually more firm is taking a zip tie and wrapping it like so. The zip tie actually then secures it. So make sure that we've got about an inch on each end or maybe an inch and a half, like so, before securing the zip tie. And here we go. And now the, the sticks are in place. We'll cut off half of the excess. And now let's, um, let's train the tree. And the reason again for training as well is just like a pet, whether you had a dog or a cat or any other type of animal, the goal is to train it to do whatever the desired goal is, whether it's um, eating out of a certain location or um, using the restroom in a particular you know, place within um, your home. Just like a cat using a litter box Training, um, training your pets and training your trees is about this, you know, is, is, is a similar process. So you can see that we've now opened the branches to grow in three different um, areas. And then we're just gonna now secure it like so by wrapping it. And we're using the fork in the sticks to basically hold the branch in place. And we're gonna tie that in place. This brace cannot be left on forever. Just like a cast on a person, it needs to be removed otherwise, um, as the plant heals and as it continues to grow in this desired location, we don't want it to also get constricted because um, these branches will get wider and we don't want them to actually get affected by being constricted and constricting the sugars and waters from flowing through these branches. So this brace will only remain for about two and maximum three months and the branches should remain in place as it heals and grows in this new desired fashion. Wrap that around. 
and tie it. And we've done it. So now we've got our three desired branches growing in vase form. And then we've got these three branches on each of the individual branches of the vase also growing in another vase fashion. The goal being all of these branches are gonna get the maximum amount of light again to produce the maximum amount of sugars to support the maximum amount of fruit. So be sure um, to follow this and to watch um, the next steps as we continue to care for this apple tree among other fruit trees throughout our garden and other gardens um, that I get invited to. I hope you found this um, video informative and if so, be sure to like it. Most importantly, subscribe down below. By subscribing below, again, you'll be able to watch all of the other Ivy Organics um, educational gardening videos as they get published um, and you get to watch the progress of this tree and, and what it's going to become between now and the years to follow. Thanks again for watching and happy gardening. Mm -hmm.